guys welcome back to our channel so we are doing our how we met slash q a um video today because we're in lockdown and we can't we can't go anywhere to do any other videos so we're gonna stay home we're gonna do our q a and how we met story while we eat so we'll do q a first and then the how we met afterwards okay question number one how long have you been together How long have we been together, darling? Um, what are you thinking? <laughs> you shouldn't be thinking. Two and what? Like two and a... Maybe like two and a half years or something like that. Yep. We've been t together for like two and a half years. Our three years isn't till next year. So, yeah. We've been together for about two and a half years. It's been a good two and a half years, eh? Yeah, it's been like... <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> um, favorite sour lollies. Oh, I like the song because I love lollies. Like, if you had to choose between chocolate and lollies, lollies. Me, lollies, any day period. I don't even like lollies. Well, I love lollies. Ooh. But if we were to put sour lollies, it would probably be, um, what are those, um, Baby looking ones. Oh, sour patches. Sour patches. Mm, we love sour patches. No, no, we, you love sour patches. <laughs> I'll just eat them. I love sour patches. I love the ones with um, the berry flavored ones. It's uh got only blue, pink, and purple. So I'm guessing blueberry, grape, and strawberry. But I love sour patches. But it's those specific ones. Yes, Man, I could talk about lollies all day. Well, we didn't go all day. <laughs> um, what's your favorite place to eat? Probably, uh, was this together or like just your favorite place to eat? Probably Jimmy Jack's eh? because mm. just I like meat. My favorite place to eat would probably be Burger King. Burger King, yeah, why? Because I love their rodeo burgers. Let's hook the front. Next question. Will you be having any children in the future? If so, how many? I think I'll get max like three. Three or four. Whatever you have after that, they will do. They are a mistake. No, oh, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sad one. No. But your kids are going to look at this video and be like, fuck, you're a wretched out there. <laughs> Oh, I'm a mistake now. <laughs> the youngest will be like, I'm a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I have about max 10. <laughs> See, the difference with you is he he grew up <laughs> with a big family. <clears throat> I didn't. I just grew up with me and my brother. And so I always wished that I had more siblings. More siblings to, you know, like for holiday reasons and just to have more people surrounding me. I never had that. Yeah, I love with that. Hmm. Was I? Right. What do you love about darling there? I like that. So, what do you love about me? Um, your sense of humor. But. Out of everything, I I love like how you you care about me. Yeah, just the very simplest of things that I love about you. To be honest. Yep. Next. <laughs> What's the one thing you and your husband have in common? Eczema. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only fullest thing, thing of masculine is his face. And he believes, oh my god. <laughs> eczema. Oh, yeah. No, but seriously, though, we both got um, eczema and asthma. <laughs> I think that. 
that's something that makes us um but the difference is you have one of those thingy bujigis what do you mean there's <laughs> inhaler yes the one i didn't use one of those <laughs> i just handle it <laughs> <laughs> Fight through the paint. Mm. I can't do that. Next question is, what do you like about your wifey? Oh. Um, I like that she cleans the house when I leave. Because when I come home, it's always spotless. And she's got a very big sense of humour. She's on my level as well. She jokes around a lot with me, which is good. Keeps me on my feet. <laughs> Happy ass. Next question. How do you know that Kahi is or was the one? I didn't know, like, I didn't have one of those answers that were like, bang, right smack in front of me. It was just the, it was over time that I was able to realise that he was the one for me and like he said that I'm on his level that's exactly how I felt was that I felt he was on my level and so like it's not very often that you find someone that's on your level and it's quite a rare thing mm. while society puts out that it's quite a rare thing but it's not it's it's something you just have to find within someone you know how you like grow up when you're like young and you grow up and you're sort of like you have this list of like what you want in a man and stuff like that i never grew up with like having a list but one thing i do remember is my mum saying that if he respects you like that's enough and he respects me on all levels in ways that i cannot comprehend but yeah i'll keep him i'll keep him around <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> the next question is what what's your guys thoughts on this lockdown yeah i don't mind Love day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> i don't care that much it sucks with the like everything that happens with like food and stuff like that but other than that i look at it as a positive thing in the way that people are controlling this covid and they stay home or or in other ways that I get to spend time with my husband, my dogs. Next question, sunrises or sunsets? <sighs> sunsets. I like both of you. You know why? Because I'm never up that early to watch the sunrise. <laughs> 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 this is too early for me. <laughs> Sister's still sleeping. <laughs> uh, next question is, favourite season and why? Uh, autumn. Autumn. You know why? Why? Because summer, um, my stint is real itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Eczema, say less. <laughs> now, honestly, because summertime, my skin is just so itchy. <laughs> Winter time, it's just too cold. And my asthma starts to play up. <laughs> so autumn is where it's at. <coughs> autumn is good for me. I like autumn. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Slough. Oh, yo. Springy. It's cold. I like the cold. I don't like a. Uh, I used to like winter, but yeah, my asthma doesn't do too well in the winter. It makes me just bad all around us. But yeah, I'll go with uh, good old springy. Good old spring. Like Autumn's when they like all dead and dry. Like the skin. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most important thing to you? Probably kindness. For me, it's a lot. Oh, yeah. For a second, it's my family. No, you can't still go. <laughs> 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 I didn't know we were going that way. This is the Lord. Then it's my family. <laughs> my husband. 
Und welche kann es? <lacht> Nein, aus der Kopf kann es. Da möchtest du ein Brot zum Ding zu nehmen. Voll mal da hin. So, den da hin. Go, that. <lacht> Baby, I'll add some of clothing. Oh, um. Pants. Is it our own items or any item? Any. Pants. <lacht> If it's our own item, I'll go with um, this right here because it's just make it comfortable. But if it's like any item, I'll go with um, um probably my shoes here. Clothing, not footwear. That's the same thing, isn't it? That's footwear. Oh, well, isn't it? <laughs> I'll go with hats. That's headwear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go back to this then. Some jumpers. Hmm. Mine is um pants. I love pants. Favorite food. Oh, uh, my Nachos. favorite food. Oh, no. Nana tacos. That's my favorite food. So if you ever come around, you know, just bring tacos and we'll be best friends. <laughs> Straight up. Not from Taco Bell though, otherwise. Ooh, I don't be, like Taco Bell. It's gotta be homemade. How come you get all the lighting? Because I'm sicky. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ideal date. Uh, skydiving. Hey. <sighs> no, man, we're out on the beach. Two chairs and a table. Nice red robe over that table. Chuck a wine on there. We don't drink wine, stupid. No, no, that's grape juice. Ch chuck a wine on there. Chuck the grape juice in there. Have a lasagna. What a dessert. Looking back out at the ocean. How come we've never done this? I bet your ideal date. <laughs> it's too expensive. What the heck? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Cheapskate? I think for me, my ideal date would just be something simple as going to Pizza Hut or something. Last question is, how's life? Life is good. Putting on weights, you know, mm. working all day, mm. nine to five. Mm. Mm. Life is good for me. Going a bit slow, but life is good. This is that feed I'm speaking on. So now that we've answered all the questions, we're going to now share um, how we meet. So get your snacks, your pillows, your blanket, and get comfy because it's about to go down. So do you want the truth or the, <laughs> <laughs> or the sugar-coated one? So do you want to start? Uh, where do we start? From the start. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Well, actually, when we we first seen each other on the train, and um, we were walking. Oh, actually, she was walking past, and I was sitting down, and I uh, I seen her from a distance. We didn't meet. We haven't met yet, and I seen her in the distance, and then um, where were we, where were you going? I was going to I was going to uni. She was going to uni and I was going to a dance class because at the time we were both studying. She was studying in um, tourism and I was studying dance. And uh, I was going to a dance class and she was going to... Were you going to uni? Yeah. Going to uni. And then flipped like a couple of months, I think it is. And she found me on Facebook. I like remembered her like face when I oh like when you come up people um it comes up people's suggestions. Yeah, the suggestion list. I saw his profile picture and I was like to myself, Oh I've seen that face somewhere. I remember it was because I 
I saw her was the train. And then she was um she was coming to Auckland one time and she was dropping off her mates at a wedding and she messaged me. She asked if we wanted to link up. So we uh linked up. I was looking nice, trying to look my best. And then when we seen each other, the first place we went to was um was that the first place we went to was um Burger King. <laughs> it's a Burger King. <laughs> I asked her, where do you wanna go? And he was like she go get a feed, I was like, okay. So we like just drove anywhere and then we saw Burger King, so we saw the Burger King. Yeah, that was you might as well call that a, our first date. We had we had a bit of a feed and then she dropped me back off. We were go actually we were gonna go bowling. We were going to go bowling that day, but it was closed. Oh yeah. And then she dropped me off back home because she had to go pick up her mates from the wedding, and then uh... we just started talking from there onwards. Yeah. We, we started talking for a very long time because we were doing a lot of distance. We didn't actually um date for a little bit, but we did meet up quite a bit. We just got really really closer then. Uh, after that, we started to get feelings for each other. Yeah. My uh, feelings were very open. Oh, I, I always like I made it obvious how I like them, and I'm like very open about my feelings. So I don't really care if you know that I like you. And that's how I was with him. I always like made made it known that I had feelings for him, and he knew that I did. But he was a very close person in a way that he didn't know how to show his emotions, yeah. his feelings. He kind of closed me off now and then because he didn't want to show too much feeling, I guess. I, was like, I didn't want to show my feelings and then get hurt. Top guy, I just wouldn't even show your feelings anyway. I was quite a mean person back then. Um, yes, very mean. <laughs> had a heart, but just wasn't all there. But, um, yeah. He was a bit scary at times. So. Yeah. Yeah, I was quite scary. Sometimes he would like bully me but it, it was his way of flirting <laughs> but to me it was like why you mean <laughs> sometimes like every now and then i'll i'll come see her and then she'll come see me yeah because i live up in the far north and he lived in auckland so when we were studying we were both living in auckland and then at the start of us talking i ended up moving back home because i knew that there was a few things that i had to do back home with my family and so I moved back up north which was four hours away from Auckland which isn't very far at all and we just yeah we spoke long distance as just friends and then we started to talk a bit more in a way that we started gaining feelings for each other we made it known and then uh, we started dating um, and then once we started oh not dating in a way we were going on dates obviously because we were in such a long distance relationship but we like made it official that oh yeah, yeah i asked her up it's all me was it really though yeah it was was it really yeah, yeah, yeah. did you not see me crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's another that's a, a story of its own <laughs> and then after that um he started coming up north to see me and i started going to auckland to see him and it was just like a every weekend kind of thing <laughs> Yeah, we sure. tried to make it every weekend, but there was a lot of times because he was um studying dance and stuff at Excel, oh, yeah, yeah. he would go away on like dance tours, and so there were like long periods of times where I wasn't able to see him or properly speak to him because he was very busy. Um, yeah, and whenever we could, because um he was on like shirt allowance and. I had money, but I had to pay things, and so like we were on very restricted amount of money, <laughs> and so it wasn't that we were able to go and see each other whenever we wanted, but whenever we did have money, we like would make the time to see each other. Yeah. How many times did I come and see? Like three or four? I think you came three? up north about like three times. Yeah. I came to Auckland like like heaps. A he yeah, I came a lot of times, and that was because it was more. Um, me wanting to go to Auckland because I wanted to get out of the place. There was just more in Auckland as Yeah, well. there's more things to do in Auckland. There's not much stuff to do where I am from and I felt like we did everything, so... <laughs> and the student allowance was, wasn't able to get me over here. Yeah. It was like a couple of weeks later, unexpected as. Um, we were meant to go out for dinner and we weren't able to go to restaurants because they weren't open. And I just remembered he cooked dinner at home. So I think he like... I can't remember. But he, I think he made dinner, 
and then I was sitting on the couch after we had finished eating I yeah I was wrapped up in the blanket and he came around the corner and he sat on the ground he didn't even kneel he just sat right in front of me I was sitting on the couch and he just sat right in front of me and then he said to me darling I says yeah and he goes will you marry me he was just like asking me a question and I, in my head I was just like man you already know <laughs> I don't know how many times I've answered this question before. But he was like legit asking me. And then all I could see was this, like his hand come out with like this little box. And then he opened it and then it had the ring in it. And I was like, wait, what? And he was just like, will you marry me? Like looking at me like dead serious. And I was just like, okay, yes. And then he put the ring on me. And then I was like so happy that I wanted to tell everyone. So I ran down to the room. And I said to my mom, oh... Okay, just propose. I think that's the first person that she told. She was very happy. I was actually, I wanted to take her out to propose to her, but she didn't want to go out. Oh, yeah. She didn't feel like going out anyway. I didn't expect him to be proposing because he was like, do you want to go out? And I was like, nah. <laughs> and he's like, come on, let's go out. I was like, nah, I don't feel like it. He's like, let's have a shower, get dressed and let's go out. And I was like, where are we going to go? It's lockdown. And he wanted to go up like onto a view or something. But I was like, nah. And it was raining because it was pouring, eh? It was hella pouring and that's why I didn't want to go because I was like, oh, no, nah, it's raining outside. I just want to stay home. So he just proposed in the lounge. Yeah. And bam. And then uh, we started planning <laughs> straight away. Yeah. When and we, did... we ended up wanting to get married in August, which was like a month and a half after the proposal. But we didn't get married till October, which was a couple of months later, yeah. just because of the COVID reasons. And then we, yeah, we got married on the 30th of October. And then we got our own house and, and yeah, yeah, that's just where we're at now. That comes to an end of our We're Second YouTube video. Thank you for checking out with the Takawa family. Mm. Thank you for those that have subscribed already. If you haven't, come and subscribe now. Turn the notification bell on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you comment down below. Mm -hmm. And just like Give this video. video a like. Heaps of like. Heaps of, heaps of likes. And, and share it with your friends. Yeah, tell your friends about us. To call our family. And we're going to be dropping videos every week. So, um, yeah. Oh, and comment what you want to see, what you want to, uh, what you want to see in our future videos. Mm -hmm. Also comment down the bottom what time you watched this. What was the time you watched this video? Thank you guys for watching our video. Thank you guys for everything you do for us. The sliding be hitting me different. So thanks guys for watching our video and we, we out. out.